الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله الله عز وجل قال في كتابه الكريم وما خلقت الجن والإنسان ليعبدون I have not created mankind and the jinn except for the purpose of, uh, of worshiping <coughs> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us for the purpose of worshiping Him but how many people throughout the creation do not worship Allah Azza wa Jal they don't worship Him alone and some who are even further they don't even believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala exists unlike the Christians and Jews who have a concept of Allah Azza wa Jal but they may worship him along with Isa alayhi salatu wasalam and commit shirk. But there are those who don't even believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't even believe that the Lord of the worlds created them. And what is very interesting, I've spent this past morning here in the snow with people who were stuck here in the snow. And I tried to assist the people to get out of the snow. And we spent hours out here. And a particular individual, we got in the discussion. They asked about me. And I told them I was a Muslim. That I believed in Allah Azza wa Jal alone. And that I worshipped him subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they said, well, I was a Catholic, but I don't believe anymore. I said, do you believe in God still? They said, la, I, 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 I don't know. So that means, of course, from the Islamic perspective, that they don't believe at all in Allah Azza wa Jal. When you doubt Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who created you. So who created them? Who, where, who are they accountable for? I told, I asked this individual, I said, so if you don't believe that there's a creator of the heavens and earth, then what, what do you think, what is your purpose? Is the purpose just to gain wealth and to fill your belly? and to drink and fulfill your desires until you die. And I mentioned about the rapper 50 Cent with his live fast in, or die trying. I said, is this the concept of life? That by any means you need to just acquire wealth? And the individual responded, no, this is not the case, but still, they did not have a concept that there's something higher, a higher purpose. The Muslim knows that higher purpose. The Muslim knows that it's about worshiping Allah Azza wa Jal. How can you believe, how can you disbelieve in Allah? How do you disbelieve in Allah? And you were dead. Amwata, you were you were dead. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave you life. And then he will give us death again. So they couldn't deny death that all of us will experience. And they couldn't deny that we have sickness and disease and we experience injustice in this life. These are part of the test. So I explained to them that this is the test of life. This is from the divine wisdom. They said, well, why do children suffer? Why are children this and that? I said, yes, people experience criminals and criminal behavior and oppression and sickness and war and famine and all of those things and evil behavior done to them and done to those who they love. But that does not mean Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is unaware of that. He destined, he destined this. He created this. And we have to be satisfied with His decree. His divine decree that we have a free will, but we don't know the outcomes. And yes, evil exists. And yes, there's trials. And yes, there's tests. But He subhanahu wa ta'ala destined this for us. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal for ikhlas with the bat 
على سنة النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم